and introduces us to one family that benefits from your donations. Oh, man. At first glance, I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. You'd think this family hasn't a care in the world. You are pedaling. Two year old Cinch was named for a strap that binds a saddle to a horse. That goes under the belly and you cinch it up and it keeps the saddle. A cinch is also a thing done with ease. But his life was almost anything but. He's <laughs> having a hard time with it. And... Kind of hopeless, actually. Newborn screenings showed Cinch has spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, which paralyzes a baby in the first few weeks or months of life. Many babies with SMA don't survive to their second birthday, but the day after Cinch was born, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved a new therapy. Cinch was one of the first to receive it. This really lets him live like a normal little two-year-old. Dr. Russell Butterfield, a pediatric neurologist with Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital, says the treatment is a game changer for kids like Cinch. It just feels good to see the, the outcome, and, and it's hard to be patient for it. So when we first treat him and he's two weeks old, we just wait and wait and wait, and then it's fun to now see him walking around and talking. But I know. <laughs> in a single infusion, a virus delivered a new copy of the gene into Cinch's nerves. With help from insurance and Primary Children's Hospital, Cinch got the $2.1 million gene replacement therapy. We were always their top priority to make sure we were felt comfortable, we were having a good experience there. They have been 100% amazing. I couldn't imagine any other team to have helped us through. Kick your feet in and out. Doctors say Cinch is reaching all his developmental milestones. Because of gene replacement therapy, he's living the life his parents dreamed for him. He comes out and helps me move sprinklers and, you know, kind of hangs out with me doing farm work and a little bit with the cows, but right now he just likes running through hay fields. It's a life that didn't seem possible after the initial diagnosis. Come on, Tag. And though there are no guarantees, how? His parents are hopeful and grateful. A mother's dream is for him to walk or do the simple things, you know, and so he's done that and more, and we just accept every day and are very thankful that he can do what other kids his age can do, that he can grow up with the other kids and other kids won't know that he has this and he won't be looked at differently. I just wanted to have a good life and, you know, ride Bronx, be able to help me around the farm and ranch, and I just hope that he enjoys every moment. And it turns out, with all this progress, his name, Cinch, means even more to his parents now. He's kind of holding us up. 100% he fits his name. <laughs> An identity that defines him, while his disease does not. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News.